Uh, now we want to share the direction uh, we want to head with upcoming development and get your opinions. Uh, we've observed that conservation programs share a common set of management questions. The Marathi platform, Marathi and Marathi Share combined, have tools that help you gather the information needed to answer them. We've seen a number of those tools uh, today. We want to focus effort on better reporting of this information to make answering the questions easier. These are some of the key questions we've identified with a number of sub questions. For each of your conservation projects, some sub questions are, how many projects do you even have? Where are they? Why are you there? What value do you add? For example, what are the ecological and human well-being values of your projects? How do you expect to deliver results? What are your target goals? What is your theory of change to yield desired results? On your investment, what's the cost of implementing each strategy? What is the work plan to monitor the ecological progress. That's what we just saw earlier from Vanessa and Claire. And Vanessa had a great quote. Uh, we do this to start to be clever and to think adaptively. So this, is, this line of questioning gets right at that. Are you on track? What is the progress of your projects, your results chains, and most importantly, uh, the goals of your targets? So this, again, maps to the output outcomes and impact indicators that uh, Vanessa and Claire talked about. The open standards provide a rich framework for thinking about the complex work we do. The Marathi platform enables tracking this data in great detail. The Marathi team believes the next step is unlocking that data to enable better program management. This is a mock-up of management views. to help answer the first key questions. For each of your conservation projects, why are you there and what value do you add? Given these questions, we wanna be able to find ways to provide good insights. For example, here's a view uh, to give you an idea of how many projects you have by either through a map or with a project list. And this would allow you to filter it by different uh, classifications that you set up in your system. Where are they? We just saw uh, quite a bit of that uh, with the geospatial demo. So what are the program and project boundaries? What are the factor footprints? And uh, what are the program layers that are important to you? Uh, for example, the ecological or political boundaries. How well do your projects map across your program's key conservation targets and primary threats? Here we see a narrative discussing how you're addressing targets and threats in an overview of target viability and threat ratings. The next tab starts to answer the question of what is the current assessment of the viability of your conservation targets? Here are targets with viability status along with key attributes with current ratings. So this is a summary view of some of the detail that we saw from Vanessa's presentation. Next tab shows, uh, starts to answer the question, what are the threats to the health of your conservation targets? This is a high level view again, of targets mapped against their threats with their ratings. Easy for a manager to uh, understand and consume this information. What are the ecological and human well-being values of your projects? This lets you, uh, allows you to highlight key conceptual models and results chains so different stakeholders can get the true essence of what you're trying to accomplish. And finally, who are the project's key partners and stakeholders? This is a mock-up to give managers and other stakeholders a quick tour through your program and projects. We've completed mock-ups similar to this for, other, for the other key questions I showed earlier. Ideally, a business intelligence tools such as these are self-service. This encourages usage throughout the organization. And it also provides a feedback mechanism that encourages project teams to keep their data current. 
The goal is to provide an easy to use experience. This will most likely be developed on the web using a combination of Marathi Share and possibly other business, develop, uh, business intelligence platforms like Power BI, Tableau, and the like. We want your help and your management's help to help build the most effective tools for this purpose. Please reach out to us at info at .org to share your thoughts on this direction that I just shared today. The next steps that we're looking to do are, are to get feedback on these concepts, uh, looking at questions uh, similar to what's up here. Uh, we are looking to raise additional funds to start development and we're creating detailed requirements and implement the new features from here. So with that, ask for any questions. So we're close to out of time. Happy to take a couple of questions. It would um, be great if people could get in touch with Brian through that email and pass on your thoughts. Um, so your question for me, I guess, Brian, you'd envisage that those sort of um, little screen grabs that you're showing, they're basically online reports of some form that people could dial up and see. It's, That's it's right. Online model. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we want to enable good uh, online views into the, the rich data that Marathi and Marathi Share allow us to collect, uh, make it easy for people to use so they don't have to go dig in through the Marathi file and understand and get trained up on Marathi. Uh, that's been a barrier that we've heard about in the past. Uh, and then uh, also allow the data to be shared with other organizational data, say if you're doing a, a corporate wide uh, business intelligence strategy, so you can combine your conservation data with your financial data, with your time tracking.